understand the struggles that these kids are going through. And, you know, it's not a lot, it's not a lot of positive things to look at. So uh, just to try to be able to continue to give back uh, to this community. What a blessing is it to be, you know, six years in running? Uh, no, it's, it's a tremendous blessing. If you had told me, um, you know, when I first started, this, this would, you know, provide uniforms to family, friends, and church that we would be to this point today, I'd probably tell you, uh, you would tell me a lot. What is it about kids that lights you up? Um, you know, I was a kid, and um, you know I understand what a good support system is, or what what a family uh, can do. And um, you know, unfortunately, a lot of these kids don't have that. Um, they don't have the support. They don't have the family that I had. They don't see a lot of positive things. So I think every kid deserves a chance. And the name, obviously. I mean, you're not a guy that likes to wear suits and stuff like that. So I guess the denim and uh, diamonds are perfect. Yeah, yeah. We, we've done the suit thing for the last couple of years, but I think this year we just want to make it a little more fun. Uh, you know, the same goal in mind. Uh, continue to raise money and you know continue to give back to the community, but make it a little more fun. A few days till training camp. What are you most excited about? Just to get on the floor. You know, it's been a lot of talk, uh, good and bad, about this team. Um, so I'm interested to see uh, early what we're going to be made of. I know everybody has the right mindset, and that was clear to see uh, when everybody made sacrifices in order to be here. So, you know, I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting out with these guys and putting this thing together. With everything that you know you have to go through, like how therapeutic is it going to be for you to get on the court and get with your teammates and do what you guys really want to do? But the thing is, you know, throughout the whole summer, um, with my mom's passing, I, I continue to work out. I continue to stay in the gym. So um, that's something that I never get away from, no matter what the situation is. So stepping back on the court with these guys uh, and kind of putting it all together is the most exciting thing about it because everybody's been working out in different areas. It's something we haven't had a lot of time spending, you know, together. What do you think about having camp at the base? That whole situation. I was a little nervous at first because I had never been on the base. The only thing I know is what I see on TV. Uh, you know, bunk beds, and guys beating on pants five in the morning waking you up. So I was like, uh, I was, but you know, from what I understand, uh, it's going to be a lot going on. We're going to spend a lot of time with the troops. Uh, you know, have a tremendous amount of respect for what they do. Uh, obviously, we're going to go bowling, just do team, team oriented things, and, and just get to know each other a little better. And I think that's a great idea. What's your focus skills like? Oh, I'm going all in firsthand. Seven deep off suit. You can't bluff, you can't play. Can you tell us one success story that you had from your uh, from your foundation with somebody local? Um, I have a reading program, um, and, and that's tonight. Uh, is really going to be focused on trying to build a, a reading uh, facility. Um, so that's one thing that I'm most proud of is. You know, I have a couple of people out here tonight that helps tutor with my reading program and, you know, just helping these kids, uh, you know, better their education and providing them with the best opportunity to go to the next level, whether it be, you know, getting ready to go to high school or getting ready to go to college. You're also a big friend, a big friends and family guy. How great is that all these friends and family that support you? I mean, that's what it's all about, you know. This is why, you know, people can say how you need, you know, so much money on the table. And, um, you know, I don't think you can put a price on family. I don't think you can put a price on friendship. But, uh, you know, the Miami Heat organization has been great to me. And obviously my family has been behind me 100%. And, you know, just a couple of dollars leaving on the table can't compare to what they've done for me. What about your mom and how she inspired you to do this? The strongest lady um, I know, um, you know, for what she's been through to where she's come from to where she was uh, on the day she's passed. Uh, you know, everything that I've uh, been through uh, off the court and on the court and being able to persevere through those things, I think, comes from her. You mentioned earlier about, you know, a lot of positive, also a lot of negative press for the big three and yourself and so forth. I mean, how much do you guys want to get on that court, you know, kill the naysayers? I mean, you know, the thing about it is you're always looking for ways to motivate yourself, and I don't think we have to look very far now. So, uh, you know, it's out there. and. Um, you know, it's unfortunate because in today's society, you get criticized for being selfish. You get criticized for taking money just to go to a bad team. And you have a situation where nobody's being selfish and you're still getting criticized. So, you know, either way it goes, the best way to just shut those guys up is go out there and win. Bring it into a couple, one-on-one, -on -one. that's okay. I'll actually do it right here.